Alright, this is the very first lesson and the section number is 1.3.1 .1, Unit 1. Alright, this particular lesson is about addition. In this class, we are going to use calculators and I'm going to encourage you to use calculators. Alright, addition. The word sum is the answer to an addition problem. It's important to remember that. Sum, if I say find the sum, I mean find the answer to an addition problem. Without a calculator, I would take 1,795 and I would take 295. I would line them up on the right and I would add them. In this particular lesson, I'm going to use a calculator. So, let me pull it where you can see it. Alright, so here is our on-screen calculator and I'm simply going to type in, I make sure it's cleared off, I have a zero here, and I type in 1,795. I hit the plus key because I'm doing a sum, I'm doing addition, 295. This calculator has an equal sign. Some calculators have the word enter. But my sum is 2,090. So I will type in 2,090. In my math lab, I have found that it is better if you do not type in the comma. I like the comma to read a number, but we do not type them into my math lab. Alright, my next problem, instead of saying sum, it says find the total. That is another way to indicate that you are supposed to add. In my calculator, I'm going to press the C for clear. I'm going to type in 56 plus 58 plus 7 plus 19 plus 459 equal sign and I get that the total is 599. Now I recommend that you clear your calculator and add them again to double check. So this time I'm going to start on this end and say 459 plus 19 plus 7 plus 58 plus 56 equals. Again I got 599 so I feel really good about it. So now I can clear my calculator. Alright, the next question asks us to find the difference. Now I'm going to go up here and this is about addition and subtraction. The word difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. When it says the difference of a number and another number, always enter the first one first. It is subtraction. So I will enter 93, subtraction sign, 35, enter, or equal sign, and I get 50. Well, I'm having a little trouble with that. I get 58. Now, you cannot reverse with subtraction. Subtraction, the order is important. So I'll just do it again. I cleared 93, subtract 35, and I got 58 again. So I am just double checking these. Next one. What is 763? increased by 84. Increased by is yet another way to talk about addition. So maybe it's a good idea to make a list of words and what they indicate. If I were to start back, sum and total and increased by all mean addition. Difference means subtraction. 
So I'm going to take 763 and I'm going to increase it by, which means I'm going to add 84. And I get 847. I could clear it and do it again. 763 plus 84 equals 847. The next one, it says find 108 less 35. Less is another way to indicate subtraction. So it is 108 subtract 35. So here we go. Clear. 108, 108 subtract 35. I get 73. All right, next, let me move my calculator a little bit out of the way. All right, the next one says find the total, okay, total means addition, of and the total land area drained by these sub-basins. Well, you would have to understand, I suppose, some uh, geography to, going, to understand all of what's going on, but I am supposed to add the value here, which is in square miles, and the value here, because this one's C and this one's D. Total means add. Let me grab my calculator back up. Hang on just a minute. All right, I'm going to add 186,000, so 000. zero, zero. I'm going to add it to 79,000, zero, zero, zero. Add them, equal sign. It is 265,000 square miles. So if I did it again, 186,000 plus 79,000 equals. There we go. All right. La next one, let's see. This one says to find the perimeter of the figure. This is a geometry application. The word perimeter means distance around. And you can always find the distance around by adding all sides. All right, this is a triangle and to find its perimeter I am going to, let me see if I can move this just a little, well maybe not. Okay, I have 7 plus 9 plus 12 equal sign. It is 28 and because these are all measured in feet, my perimeter is measured in feet. When you add feet together, you get feet. All right, let's look at another one. Number eight says find the perimeter of this figure. Well, even though they only have the two and the eight, there are four sides to this rectangle. So this side is two feet and this side is eight feet. So the perimeter is two feet plus eight feet plus two feet plus eight feet. So clear my calculator 
and I have 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8. And I get 20, all the way around is 20, and it is feet. Perimeter is always add all the sides. All right, on this one, let's see, how many sides do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So I'm going to add six numbers, and my answer will be measured in feet. So I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, let me erase that. So I have 9 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 3 equals sign. If I got it right, my answer is 37 feet. Let me do it again. Starting at the top, I have 9 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 3 equals sign 37 and it is measured in feet but that will be multiple choice in your math lab all right let's take a look let's see if I can move this out of the way a little I believe this is our last one it's an application problem and it says Leo Callier is installing an invisible fence in his backyard how many feet of wiring are needed to enclose the yard? So he's going to bury wire around this shape. Why is he doing this? Well, sometimes people do it to keep an animal inside and they will get a little unpleasant jolt if they cross the path of the wire. I don't know much about those actually. So we have one, two, three, four numbers to add because there are four sides to this. Start anywhere you want. I believe I will start here at 60 feet. So 60 plus 68 plus 90 plus 102 equals sign. It looks like he needs 320. They were all in feet, so the perimeter is in feet. All right, I am going to check it because that's what I like to do. 60 plus 68 plus 90 plus 102 is 320. All right, so that was a short lesson about addition, although that we did sneak in one subtraction question, um, maybe two, but stop now, use your notes, and do your first homework lesson.